have been too many videos started out when I look like this. <laughs> Literally hair up in a terrible bun and no makeup and everything. I'm just filming on my phone because I thought I would have vlogged today and I don't have a camera with me. But Daisy is being so cute and I needed to show you. I'm just literally sitting here talking to her. We're just having a conversation. And now she stopped talking. <laughs> hey, Daisy, what are we going to do today? We're going to have some visitors come over. And they're going to get to meet you for the first time. Yeah. I know. They're very excited to meet you. Your great uncle and auntie. Yeah. And then tomorrow, Rachel should be coming. Yeah. And you haven't met Rachel yet, but she's going to love you. So we need lots of smiles. Yep. Oh, yeah, my little happy girl. She's so, she just moves all the time. She just kicks, moves her arms. She's still in her four zeros and she is nearly three months old. I think it's Wednesday she's three months old. So, Dean's just gone to the supermarket. It's Sunday today and I've had a really, I feel like a really full on week. Partially, mainly because she has been in her third leap this week. So she's been extra demanding, which I don't think that she's even been that bad. But it's just like you need to go in and settle her so many times or pick her up and just try and settle her and get her back to sleep. And sometimes she just cries and there's no reason why she's crying. And she, she, you can't console her. So yeah, that's been a bit hard. Um, but her mornings are always so good. Also, I don't know if you guys remember when I was pregnant, I bought a new iMac and it's never been good. Like I've never had a good experience with her. Basically, I've just barely been able to do my work. The settings would never save. Like so weird how I've never had a problem with a Mac. I have, this is my fourth Mac and my settings wouldn't save. Like my screensaver set kept going off and my videos wouldn't upload. And then they'd take over like 24 hours to upload because I couldn't just stay there and keep moving the mouse because I'd have to go to her and then I'd get distracted and not come back for hours. And then the video would be like, 20% uploaded after like a half a day. So then I upgraded the operating system and then my settings would save, which is awesome. However, iMovie wouldn't open. So now Dean found a workaround to create another profile and that worked. iMovie now opens, but I've lost all of the things that I've done on there. So uh, I don't know if we can find a way to get it back. Yeah, yeah. I, there are a few videos that I haven't edited yet that I haven't uploaded. So anyway, it is what it is. But it's just annoying when I don't have much time to edit anyway. And there's computer problems and yeah. <laughs> Guys, I did the most beautiful painting yesterday. I did two, but one just turned out stunning. And I can't wait to go and look at it. Like it is the most beautiful painting I've ever done and then I did a really big one but anyway I'll stop talking because um I've got to pay Daisy attention <laughs> okay so she's all ready for sleep now she's got a nice lemon sheets on her bed yeah you do we've got your white noise on you're in your ergo patch with your one arm out your one arm banded yeah she started to roll so um we just leave one arm out because two arms are too hectic for you, aren't they, sweetie? Yes, they are. But this is um, the newborn size ergo pouch and it fits her still pretty well. But yeah, couldn't recommend them enough. They're amazing and they just feel so nice as well. So Dean just got home from the supermarket, so he's going to do a grocery haul. I just said to him jokingly, like, do you want to do a grocery haul? He's like, yeah. Yeah, because everyone wants to know what we've... Good night. <laughs>
I did go to Baker's Delight afterwards, high fiber, low GI, sliced toast, so that's all, all good, okay? We'll top up on the eggs, 700 grams, because you don't want the small ones. Now, this is gonna be tomorrow's lunch here. I've kept the rolls intact, brioche buns, some salad. Crystal wanted some hot cross buns. Yum. Some potatoes to make some chippies for our burgers. There's a range of there. <laughs> uh, a bit of tomato. Ham, some baby wipes. Yeah. Crystal's painting. For my painting. For some Chibos. Replace yeah. the old. I ne yeah, I need that actually. Two de cream on special. Been waiting for that. So save two bucks. Some chicken. Is that for the burgers? No. What are you putting in the burgers? Well, we can put in put chicken. Got some milk. Burgers. Oh, you got burgers. That's what we're putting in the burgers. Okay. Okay. And. <laughs> Penny food? Penny food, because she, oh, that one's empty. What do you got in there? I don't know. Oh, donuts. <laughs> yeah, it was $2 to get six or $2.50 to get 12. Why wouldn't you just get 12? You do the math. <laughs> All right, and that's it, actually. Yeah, right. I use these bags, really good, just strong, good handles, they don't hurt you, so, you know, these are the ones to get three bucks, so it's a bit of an investment, but, you're not throwing them away like the green bags too. So. We do have every plate come each week, so we don't need much. Like, well, we don't need dinner every day. We just need some lunches. But now that Dean's home, I am going to pump. So if you didn't see my Instagram, we went to the sunflower fields the other week and they're dying. We're going to have to throw them out. But they were very, very beautiful and we got some gorgeous photos. So, you know, like... Yeah, they've, they've had their time. Leaking pollen everywhere, but yeah, it was a really fun day. But goodbye, Mr. Sunflowers. Okay, I'm just about to look at the paintings. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, wow. <gasps> it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. And then we did this big one over here. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. It looks so much better in person than on the camera because it's quite dark in this spot. <gasps> wow, that is amazing. And then mum did these ones yesterday. Oh, they turned out so much brighter than I thought. Like a lot brighter, like you made them way more tame than that, I guess it's how they dry. Oh yeah, I like this one a lot better. That's kind of like the lettuce green color, that, oh, the yellow lettuce color that mm, I was looking I at yesterday. I like that green there. Yeah. But they want it to be lemon and lime and <laughs> citrus and salad and that's what they yeah. are. I made a little video on, I think it was the first, was this the first, no, this one was the first mm. one, wasn't it? Yeah. But I haven't put it up yet. So it's a little bit after two. I've just fed this little one. And now we're just hanging out until dad gets home, aren't we? So Dean's been at his dad's doing some work there in the yard and I dig this little munchkin. What you doing, Daisy? She keeps trying to sit up by herself. Not by herself, but like from a reclined position, she keeps like uh, reaching forward. I wonder if she'll do it. So we do have some of Dean's relatives coming over to meet Daisy. So when Dean comes home, hopefully I can get some makeup done and put some dry shampoo in my hair because it's awful. <laughs> I just found out about this like event thing called Art and Found. It's where you as an artist or anyone can do it really, just leave a piece of art wrapped up and with a message saying that this is, um, this is, from me and a bit about yourself and enjoy the piece of art and yeah you just leave it around town like on a park bench or something like that i just found out about it today that it's this friday there she goes she's trying to sit up herself and so i really want to make a few little small pieces and mum might as well look at you trying to sit up girl <laughs> to leave around town this friday you can't do it just yet bob um, so I think that that's really such a great thing to do to just, you know, spread the love of art because it is, anyone can appreciate any piece of art or, you know, just because one person likes 
something doesn't mean the next one does or everyone might not like a piece but then there's one person that that piece belongs to and I just know the joy that it can bring to other people as well. I've sold a few pieces through um, the website and also through a lot through DMs like people see a piece or they want a piece made and I just have a go at making it and they love it. It's been really rewarding seeing people, you know, want these pieces and see the energy in them and everything. Yeah, it's exciting. It's nice. It's a it's a really fulfilling feeling knowing that people receive these pieces and they they just feel the energy from them, which is the intention of the pieces as well. So anyway, we're gonna just chill out and wait till Daddy gets home. Aren't we bad? She's just a little cute. She just really wants to put her hands in her mouth so bad. Like this. This arm is like the sleeve is wet, the little mitt over is wet. <laughs> oh, look at you. Tummy time on mom. <laughs> Hello. Hi, my baby girl. Look how cute you are. Oh, little girl. Look at you. <laughs> Hello. Hey guys, it's about 4 p.m. and I'm out in the shed and my mum and I are gonna do some painting now, which is really cool. So I'm gonna make my little pieces for Art Found Day. I just took photos of some pieces that I sold earlier. It was it was last week, actually, I'll show you them. So here are the pieces. So I've sold them together, but they're a little bit different. So you can see that this one has like these colored pinks and then this one has like a nice nude color in it. It's actually so beautiful, um, but they've both got the same navy blue. So kind of like same, same, but different. So they're going to the same place. Um, I just need to varnish this one. I can probably do that tonight or today. Um, and then another coat tomorrow and then I can send it off. And then I also sold my pastel dreams and then mum has sold one, another one of her pink ones, which is lovely. These are the little ones that she's done for Art Found Day. And you are ready to pour. Show me a cup. Mum's going to use similar colours to what I did yesterday. This will look so pretty. But I need to film it for a little reel. So Okay, so we've been pouring for like two hours. And we've done some beautiful stuff. But the sun is going down, so it's a bit dark in here. So hopefully you can see things okay. But the paintings look so much better in real life when there's proper sunlight anyway. But I'll show you what we've done. Here's the first big one that mum did. How stunning is it? It's funny that I used, like her and I used the same colours. And the paintings have just ended up so different. It's just really crazy. And then over here we have two little ones using the same colors. And then over here we have some more little ones. So the, these little ones will give away in the art or find my art uh, day. And then mum did a circular one because she just wanted a circular one as well. And then I did this one here. It looks quite orange on camera, but it's more pink in real life. Um, but this one will go on the website. This one's a 20 inch by 16 inches. So the standard size that we have. And then I've done this one and this one for the Find My Art. And then over here, I did this. I think this is an 18 inch square, but I'm going to save this for our little show that we have, our, our stall in the Mind, Body, Spirit Festival. And then I did these three for the find my art as well this one's so pretty and this one turned out with a lot of cells in it really different i actually really love that i love all of the pieces i think they're amazing okay so we are having every plate for dinner tonight we get six meals a week so we were a bit naughty and had takeout this week twice <laughs> Bacon and pesto baked risotto. I reckon I've made this one before and it is delicious. Uh, it has heaps of like lemon in it. Oh my god, it's so yum. So Dan's just chopping up the corn. You know, I hate chopping up corn from the cob. Was it? Do you not mind it? I don't know, I just find it really difficult. It's annoying. <laughs> Give it to me in a can. <laughs> That's what I said. I was just like, the last week, there was, the last two weeks, there's been. 
corn in a can and then it's just like... Yeah. So Dean's auntie and uncle came around and they were so sweet and gave us some gifts for Daisy. They're actually Dean's godparents. Yeah, they got us this beautiful little plate and cup with cutlery. It's so cute. And then we have some bibs here with rainbows and then little bunnies and a little rattle. I don't know if you've seen in my other vlogs, but Daisy loves her rattles. So another one to add to the collection. They've all got names, so I don't know what we'll call this one yet. Kind of looks like a koala bear or a bear. I don't know. It's really cute though. Here's how dinner turned out. Oh my gosh, it smells so delicious. We're hoping this one does not wake up. Okay, so we are getting Dean's bathing Daisy and I'm just getting her bottle already. Um, so I'm just warming up some breast milk. Hi, girl. Are you enjoying your bath? Yeah? Yeah. Nice and relaxing. <gasps> Good girl. You love your bath? You're getting a bit big for this bath though, aren't you? Yeah. How about we wash your hair tonight? Mama, wash your hair? Little miss is just showing down on her milk in a dummy suit. We have to get the most use out of this while we can, while it still fits her, because I bet she won't fit in it soon. We have been trying to get her to go to bed earlier, so we've tried at like 6 and 7. It is a little bit late now, it's 8 o'clock, but we did actually, she was sleeping, so... She slept through dinner, which is really good. She usually wakes up when we have dinner. Yeah, we've been trying to get her used to going to bed like that, you know, shift earlier kind of thing. And it wor has worked for the last couple of nights. So fingers crossed it's, you know, get getting a good routine. But I need to film like a new nighttime routine video because it's completely, not completely different, but it's very different from like a five week old to now she's 12 weeks. Penny, you haven't been in the video yet. Hi, Pan. Look at you, pretty little Dalmatian. You are a feral. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so it is quarter past nine. I've pumped and I've hung up my washing and now it's time to go to bed. Um, but walk is all over the place. I had so much I wanted to tell you. My mum and I booked a stall at the Mind, Body, Spirit convention in Melbourne for June. We're so excited. So we're going to take along our art. So we've called it Infused Energy Art. I don't know, it's a little bit tricky. I've had a few people ask me like to explain it to them. And I guess like spirituality is something that I've always grown up with. Some people might not believe in it, but it's something that my mom and I believe in and we believe in energy and like my name is Crystal, come on. <laughs> my mom is a master energy healer or a spiritual healer. She works with energy that's been her full-time job for as long as I can remember. She's been doing it for like 30 years or something. So um, she's really fantastic at what she does. And, and so what we do is when we are doing a painting, I know I like to take a few minutes or a few moments before I, um, before I do the painting. But like, even when I'm thinking of the colors, I'm thinking of like the home that it's going to end up in and the warmth that the energy brings to the home and the person who it's going to be for. And I just, you know, put a lot of good energy into that, but certain types of different things, like whether it be um, a, a calm kind of painting or a passionate kind of painting, it's, it's all different and it's so specific to who, who the painting ends up being for. And it's a funny thing because I honestly believe like every painting that I've done, it has a home but just like the owners haven't found it yet. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just how, what my beliefs are. You can believe it or not. From the feedback that we've had from certain people that have purchased them, um, whether they've known us or not, it's been really good. So it's something that we're really passionate about and we love doing. So yeah, we booked a stall at the MBS convention 
which is awesome. I'm so excited, but it means that we've got to do a lot of work, a lot of work to get to everything ready and certain pieces we're going to leave aside for that day. So I think it's on like the like 11th of June, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah if you're in melbourne you have to come and check it out like they look so much better in person the photos that i take like i mean i'm not a professional editor or anything like that um but that i just can't do them justice they just when you see them you feel the energy that they bring like that one that i did yesterday like i actually had a bit of like a meltdown kind of before i did it and it turned out beautiful. It's just like, they turn out better when you have like a somewhat heightened emotions. And that one's been my favorite painting and I don't think that I can sell it because it's just so beautiful. That very first one that I went in and saw this morning. I don't know, it's something that we enjoy, but anyway. I am gonna go to bed. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog and I will see you next time. Bye.